What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Let me get the comments up from uh, the last video. I said I would and I did. Um, welcome to The Road to Glory guys. Drop a big old thumbs up if you wouldn't mind doing it. I made a big, big decision. I sold Henri. That's right, I did it. I did it. I'm not even sorry either. Um, first things first, there's some stuff on the trade pile here that we sold. We sold Boateng, sold Alaba, sold Goretzka Inform, sold Ferman. Uh, I reduced the price on some of the 87s that I had that weren't selling. I made like some coins on these 87s, but like 500 to 1,000 after tax. Not mind-blowing. They were just taking up trade pile space. We'll get through that in a second. I also invested in some Jagielkas and some uh, Luis Gustavos, and although I'm selling them, and again, I've made like, on Jagielkas, I bought them for like 16,000, and I'm selling them for 17,000, so I'm making like, I don't know, what's that, like 100 coins per card? Profit is profit though, right? Um, and I actually still think they're wise investments, and Gustavo the same. I'm going to explain to you why I think they're wise investments in a second, but I'm also going to explain to you why I sold them. Um... And uh, yeah, so there, there you go. I bought some Jagielkas. I sold Poyo for a loss. I bought him for 405 or 403 or something like that. Maybe 400 on the dot. Sold him for uh, loss plus tax. And again, I'm going to get through why I sold them for a loss in a second. I sold Saul for 51k. I bought him for 50k. Lost a bit on him. Sold Lipmanen for 470. I bought him for 510. Man, that was just a waste. Uh, sold Henri for 1.5. I don't know why it shows it like that now. But uh, I did take a screenshot of his final stats, which I've since deleted because I'm stupid. Uh, is it this one? Restore that. It is this one. So, um, I bought Henri for 1,623,000 coins and sold him for 1.5 million. So, although I did lose coins on Henri, I didn't really lose much on Henri because I played 653 games with him. I scored 1,023 goals with him and got 403 assists with him. So he got 1,426 goal contributions in 653 games. Um, and I'm, I sold him now because I'm, I just I want coins. I, when Team of the Year comes, you know, there's been some talk about Team of the Year. We're obviously heading into January now, so a week to two weeks likely until Team of the Year is released. Um, and I just want to be able to move straight into p picking up some Team of the Year cards. Um, a couple more Gustavo sold there as well. Uh, fitness cards, an Iniesta, another Jagielka, that Handanovic, another Jagielka and another fitness card. So I'm going to clear those out real quick. Um, so the Luis Gustavos I bought for around 24 to 25k and they're selling for about 28,000. I believe they will go much higher. Um, the, the reason why I think they're a good investment, and, and I'll explain who it's a good investment for in a second. But the reason why I think Gustavos will go much higher is because according to Footbin... Um, which obviously is uh, the site we use to just, you know, get our data, our information from, etc, etc. Uh, according to Footbin, the cheapest rated 85 in form right now is Luis Gustavo at around 24 to 25,000 coins. Uh, you could probably pick him up for like 23,000 as well if you, if you tried. Because of the 83 rated Gustavos as well, and because this Gustavo is so cheap, he gets listed like at 23k and he'll actually stay there for four or five seconds. So you can get them for like 23 to 24, but he's selling right now at like 25 to 28. Um, but the next cheapest 85 rated informs are Pastore, Jonas and Lopez. And they're up towards a 28, 29k mark. So although there's no real need for the informs right now, once a big team of the... Sorry, once a big icon comes where people really, really do want it, the informs of these 85s and stuff will probably go up to like the 30s and, and so on and so forth. And there's only a handful of informs that are 85 rated or lower that are 30k or 28 to 30k. So regardless, I think you could pick him up for like 23 to 25k, sell him for 28k and still make a thousand coins a card. Um, but if you wanted to, I'm trying to sell like the Urzil as well. I've listed the Welbecks just to see if there's some lazy buyers. Arsenal playing Chelsea this evening. Um, and uh, well, by the time you're watching this, Arsenal would have played Chelsea. And the starting lineup so far has Welbeck starting behind Lacazette. So I picked the Welbecks up for around like 18,000 or less. If I can get Welbeck sold and just get the coins back, I'll be happy to do so. Um, hopefully he does start and he goes up to 22, 24K and we can actually make a nice bit of profit on him. Uh, a PZ I bought as well, I'm trying to get rid of. Another Luis Gustavo there, we're trying to get rid of. More Luis Gustavos, I put a lot in. And, and you can see I've got 3.3 million here. 
once all this stuff on the trade pile sells, even if I have to sell it for a loss, which I'll happily sell it for a loss, even this Benatia I'll sell for a loss, the Lozano I'll sell for a loss. There's a reason, I'm going to explain the reason why I'm happy to sell for a loss uh, in a second, but there's so much on this trade pile, man. I'll be well over 4 million um, by the time it all sells, and that's in not including all of this stuff. Now, I'm holding on to the blue cards because I think uh, I bought them for so cheap, like 13k or so, that if they're ever needed, I'll make money back off of him. And if I ever need coins desperately, I can sell them for like a 1k loss at maximum. And I'm holding on to the Path to Glory cards, except for Welbeck, because I'm just waiting for these leagues to come back in and start playing again and for their just set like settled price to start rising gradually as more and more people uh, get involved in these. So there's, there's a few things there that we've got. And then in terms of the actual club, uh, I don't really have much. Um, a few more Path to Glory cards and, uh, you know, another Welbeck and so on. These are go as well. And then it's Ronaldo, Sandro, Glick and not much else. Um, so once once everything sells, we'll have well in excess of 4 million coins. I actually think we'll have somewhere around the 4.4 um, to 4.6 million mark, depending on how much I have to keep lowering these prices by. And I haven't really done like a proper calculation on tax. But I've also got like a crap ton of... Um, valuables in bronze, silver and gold players uh, that I will just sell off over the next week or so, just, just daily. Um, so in terms of the Luis Gustavos, the reason why I think they're still a good investment, and the Jagielkas specifically, the Jagielkas are a real good in investment because uh, he is the cheapest 83 rated Premier League in form by a long way. Um, you know, he's he's up at like 17,000 now and I was picking those Jagielkas up at like 14 to 15k. I don't think I had any more left, did I? I think they've all sold. Yeah, all my Phil Jagielkas sold. I still think they're a good investment um, due to the fact, again, if, if we look at, um, let me go to the Premier League. If we look at the 83 rated informs, Jagielka is there at like 17, 18k right now. Then the next cheapest inform is Jermaine Defoe at like 23, 24 and Fabianski at 26. So they're like Jagielka is going to move up. So for people that can't log on to the, the game very often or every day, these are really strong investments because and, and let's let's make a top comment. Let's make someone in the comment uh, comment section put something in there and I'll pin it and we'll revisit it in a week's time. Um, let's take a look at Phil Jagielka's price now, which let's say is 18,000 because you'd be able to, in fact, let me just go and show you that you'd probably be easy able to pick up uh, Jagielka for 18,000. Um, so we've got Jagielka, um, special card, let's go up to 18K. You might have to snipe them, but they'll be there. Oh, you won't even have to snipe them. You, you could just buy them at 18K, maybe even less, maybe, but let's say 18K, right, for, for Phil Jagielka. So 18k for Phil Jagielka and uh, 24k for Gustavo. Um, let's go and have a look. So uh, the problem with Gustavo is that he's got all those 83s, and that's why it's that's why he's so cheap right now because it's so hard to filter between them. Um, you'll be able to let me get rid of a lot of these 83s. Let's pop it up to like 20. 21k or so, 22 to 24k, you'll probably be able to pick up a couple of 85s at around this mark, maybe at the 59th minute or so mark, but you'll definitely be able to, or not definitely, you'll probably be able to pick up a few um, a few Luis Gustavos, there's an 85 right there, there you go, there's loads of 85s there, 20, 23k, uh, 20, 22k, oh there are the 83s, but yeah, 23, 24k for the 85s, no problem at all, so let's say 24k for the Gustavo, and 18k for the Phil Jagielka, and in a week's time, I bet you would make at least 2,000 coins per card, just per card. So if you invested in 20 Phil Jagielkas, I reckon you'll make 40,000 coins. I reckon you'll go up to 20, 21, 22K, and you'll make good money on both cards, Gustavo and Jagielka. Now, the reason why it's, who, who is it valuable for? It's valuable for people that don't have lots of time on this game. So you can go and buy those Jagielkas, you can go and buy those Luis Gustavos, there's a good edge on those cards, and then you could just hold them for three days, five days, eight days, 10 days, until their value goes up and then you can sell them. However, for someone like me, and this is a trap I've fallen into over about the last three weeks, and I actually think I've probably missed out on making hundreds of thousands of coins because of this. For someone like me that can is on the game all day and has infinite opportunity to flip trade piles, it's idiotic of me personally to have all these Gustavos and all those Jagielkas and all those 87s that I had just sitting there on the trade pile doing nothing because it like it's taking up trade pile space for me to flip consistently. 
So instead of having a Gustavo that might make me two to 5,000 coins sit there for a week, I could have flipped a fitness card 20 times in that same amount of time for 200 coins a time that would have made me 4,000 coins anyway. So the, the, for, for people that can't log on to FIFA a lot and that have less time to get on the game during, or less time on the game during the days that they're on, things like inform investing and, and uh, you know, investing long-term investments, I think you guys would do good even right now of making this video to pick up the Gustavos and Jagielkas. And the reason why I'm saying this now is because you can see my Gustavos are listed. I'm waiting until they go up to 28K. I've, I've already got a few lazy buyers on some of the Gustavos, but I already sold my Jagielkas just so that you guys know I'm not saying this to make profit off of you. I'm not trying to like hype the market up for Jagielkas or Gustavos. I already invested in them. Uh, I bought the Gustavos, that one for 25. I think I bought a couple for like 24 somethings, a few at like 23s or 22s. Uh, mostly 25s though, but I could even sell them now for like 26, 27k and just get my money back. But I'm not hyping these up to try and sell them to you guys. By the time you watch this video, this trade pole will be clear. Even if I have to lower the Gustavos down to 26k's to get rid of them, um, I won't have anything left on this trade pole by the time this video goes live. Uh, so, well, maybe the Danny Welbecks. Um, but yeah, we're getting rid of it all. And the reason why I'm getting rid of it all is because I've got a couple of good trading methods that I want to indulge in and see if they're really efficient and effective beforehand. Uh, but if not, then uh, I'm just going to hold on to the coins until team of the year and then invest and buy. Now, uh, for foot champs, guys, I was going to play a game of Division 1 in today's video, but I'm actually not going to now because uh, it's already well over 11 minutes. For foot champs, I managed to grind out Elite 3. I'm so disappointed in my own performance this this week. This week just gone. Um, in terms of uh, my actual monthly results, 138 wins out of 178 games is fantastic. Um, let's get a percentage calculator up because I love uh, I love my stats and such. Um, so 138 is uh, what percent of 178? That's a 77.5% win rate. Um, if I actually got that through. The whole 100, uh, sorry, the whole 200 games, that would have been like 145 wins. Is that right? No, it's more than that. Uh, that would have been another 15 wins. So it would have been 153, 154 wins, which obviously would have put me well above uh, Elite One. Not quite close in terms of top 100, uh, like probably about 15 or 18 wins out, but uh, like I, I was happy to take the time off, you know, uh, like last on Christmas weekend, I only played uh, 21 games. So 19 of the games are, are gone there. And I, I know I could have got elite one, but I left myself with the task of getting 31 wins this current week. And I got to 17 and three. And then I just fell apart, man. Like I started playing angry. I started rushing my play. I wasn't thinking when I was playing. I, I was I was just playing bad. And we ended up scraping Elite 3 on the final game. After being 17-3, and three, I then went 12-2 and two in my last 20 games by the skin of my teeth. So I am happy that we got Elite 3. I'm a little bit gutted that we didn't get Elite 1 monthly, but we're still going to get 15 red cards, which is sick. You know, they're going to be... If, if they're anything like the other reds that I've got, they're gonna, I'm going to get a one or two usable cards, which is great. Um, in fact, in, in, in my team, for a lot of uh, items, like that Kimmich... He's played nearly 300 games. Alessandrini has played nearly 400 games. Bonatia has played over 200 games. Matuidi has played nearly like, over 500 games. So the red cards in general have actually been very, very kind to me. I don't think many other red cards have got many games for me. Um, two, one, four, 40 on Fernandinho. I use him as a sub a lot though, not as a starter. Two, 17, uh, two for Luis Gustavo, none for Grankvist. None for Kalasinac, and it goes back to Kramaric. Um, seven for Moy, 35 for Kolarov, again, all as a sub. Seven for Berezutsky, but I don't, I, I don't know what I used him for. I honestly don't know what... I don't know where he got his games in, man. Um, I can't remember where I used him. Nothing for Griffo, nothing for Alcacer. Um, 19 for Taliska as a sub. And this has actually got a good card, other than composure. If he had a bit better composure... I'd use him as a sub because he's got decent enough dribbling, really nice passing and decent shooting. Just sadly, uh, he doesn't really have the uh, the ability. And then again, like just just a few here and there. Farfan 15, didn't really get on well with him. Uh, 73 goal games for Valencia and 63 for Fabra. So my red cards have been all right to me. You know, they've been kind. So even if we uh, even if we get like just one more usable card, that'd be sick. Um, 
but yeah, in terms of this week, uh, in terms of uh, like increasing the coin total, I sold everything that was valuable and I'm selling everything else that's valuable because if we can get up to like four and a half million coins and then get elite one, sorry, elite three rewards, it's going to be another 70,000 coins and a 100k pack and a team of the week pack. And the team of the week this week is sick. Um, it's going to contain 91 Alexis Sanchez. Let me just show you the squad that I've got here. Uh, 90 right wing Dybala, 89 second inform Paul Pogba, inform Willian, inform Deli Alley, 86 striker Firmino, 86 striker Arnautovic, 85 Perrin, 85 goalkeeper Edison that will be worth a good chunk, uh, 84 Lovren that will probably won't be any worth much, an 82 centre back Dendonka, an 82 Nkulu, an 82 left mid Braithwaite that actually looks like you'll have really good in games. I can't wait to see that. An 82 Quagarella, an 82 Cam Lingard, an 82 inform Izquierdo, an 81 inform Aki, who's got ridiculous stats as well, and an 81 Snodgrass. So of the players I can get, even the low-rated players, Aki, Izquierdo, Lingard, Braithwaite, Dendonka, those dudes are still going to probably be worth 30 to 60,000 coins a man. And then if we do manage to hit one of the big guys, you know, the Firmino, the Paul Pogba, the Dybala, the Sanchez, we could be looking at imp increasing our coin total by millions today, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's video for rewards. So um, until rewards come, I'm just, I was going to, I was, I built this team because I was going to play a Division 1 game, but I'm not going to anymore. If, when rewards come, depending on how many coins I have and what I pack and stuff, I don't know what my final team is going to be this weekend league. Um, because I've sold Henri now, it's hard to fit Alessandrini in as I'd like to. Um, and I don't have a striker. Obviously, I can put Rui Costa up at, up there and, and see where we go with it. But I, I'm going to be looking for a striker right forward uh, combination. I don't know what it's going to be. But this weekend coming, depending on what EA do for the weekend league, because it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting set for next week where... Uh, let's look at the schedule. There's no daily knockout. Oh, there are daily knockouts now. Okay, so they've added them. All right, fair enough. So there, there before, there was no daily knockouts between the two weekend leagues. 2,000 coins for that one. Small election players pack for that one. So we've got weekend league, obviously, no training items, and then weekend league here. But it's regionals um, in this month, I believe. So it might be a three weekend league month. Um, so until we know, until Friday comes and I know what the weekend's going to do, I'm going to play this weekend, not casually per se, you know, I'm, oh, I'm going to play casually and then try hard or whatever, but I'm not going to be building a meta team. I'm not going to be like indulging in the most expensive players. And the two players I'm going to put in here are probably going to be cheap, cheap players. Basically, I want to get a couple of just like OP cheapies and pop them in there. I don't know who it's necessarily going to be yet. I can obviously change formation to start the game a uh, different way. You know, I might go for the, something like, um, I don't know. I don't know what I might go for. But, what, you know, I might, I might put Alessandrini in there and just play him on eight chemistry and then go and get like Mbappe or Martial and play them off chemistry as well. You know, something like that. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I do want to keep the club liquid. And if I start with um, a team like this, I've got untradeable Benatia in there. Untradeable Matuidi, untradeable Costa, untradeable Herrera, untradeable Alessandrini. Cristiano Ronaldo, who I will not get rid of, he'll be the last guy I upgrade. I want to get the Team of the Year guys first, uh, and then Team of the Year Ronaldo will come last. Because this 94 Ronaldo is already so good that there's n it will be pointless burning more coins on him so early. Um, Chesney, I don't think I want to be my goalkeeper. I, I, I might go for Buffon, I might go for David De Gea. Uh, again, it depends who I pack on uh, on tomorrow's rewards. And then right back Valencia and Bailly. They're relatively cheap now, you know, 30k or so for Valencia, 20k or so or less for Bailly. So there's only 50k tied up in these guys. And there's only about 70 to 80k tied up in Alexandro. So there's 130k in my defence. Um, and then there's 2 million in Ronaldo. And then there's the, everything else is untradeable or, or worthless in terms of uh, Chesney, right? So if I can figure out a good striker and right forward that, that I get from rewards, and when I keep saying rewards, I mean monthly rewards. Sorry, I don't mean weekly rewards. Like, it, like there's there's some really, really good monthly rewards this, this month. Um, for example, uh, we could potentially be getting ourselves... Oh, so the best players anyway for the monthly rewards this month are 95 striker Messi. So obviously if I packed a 95 striker Messi, he would just sit straight up into that striker spot next to Ronaldo. 
Um, and then I'd go for like an Anaki Williams or something as my other midfielder. And that would be my attack this weekend league. Uh, there's a 94 left wing Neymar. And if we do manage to pack a Neymar, yeah, Neymar will go in. We'll fit him in somehow with Ronaldo. Um, maybe I'll put Ronaldo up at right forward and play him off Cam and put Neymar and Cavani or something up at the striker left forward spot and we'll go that way. Uh, there's a 93 striker Suarez, which again would be insane. Uh, there's a 92 De Gea. And so if I pack that 92 De Gea, he will go in goal. If not, if I don't pack that 92 De Gea, uh, I will go and buy Buffon for this weekend league. Um, Buffon will go in there instead. Um, there's a 91 striker Aguero. And if Aguero is the guy that is packed, I'll be popping Aguero at striker and Raheem Sterling maybe an inform, maybe a base card at right forward. Uh, and that'll be my setup there. There's a 98 David Silva that won't get into the team. An 89 Ozil won't get into the team. An 89 Harry Kane probably won't get into the team. But then there's an 89 Antoine Griezmann. He would go up in striker spot if we got him. Um, there's uh, an 87 left wing Coutinho that I probably wouldn't use. Uh, there's an 86 right wing uh, Sterling. The 86 right mid, right mid Mares and the 86 left mid Hyung Min Son. If I pack any of those guys, they will just go into one of these slots and then a cheap Premier League player put the other side of them. Um, there's the 86 striker Iago Aspas. He'll go in there uh, if you know if um, if I get him. There, there's basically like a whole bunch of options of players that we can use once we get the red cards, depending on who we get. Uh, that will dictate what team I take into the weekend league. Um, so these final three positions will basically be filled up with either all red cards or um, if I get no usable red cards, then I'm going to be like, okay, I don't know what to do here. I, don't, I won't know where to go. I might get like a Gabriel Jesus and a Raheem Sterling and then play uh, Jesus and Ronaldo up front and Raheem Sterling in at camp. Um, so, you know, Jesus and Sterling might be the two that go here if I get nothing usable in terms of red cards. But if I get a good red card winger or striker, um, we'll just put those in and fit the rest of the team around it. So the team is going to be a very untradable driven team um, this weekend league. And because of that, because I'm not, it, because it, although it will still be a good team, it won't be the best team it can be. I'm not going to focus too intensely on where I finish this weekend league. You know, I'm just going to play the games. I'm just going to try and grind them as quick as possible. And, and as, as good as... I'm just going to try and play my best FIFA without letting the pressure of the uh, week get to me. You know what I mean? That's what I'm going to try and do. Whether or not I achieve that or not, who knows? You know, my, my, my mindset before the game is, hey, let's try and just... You know, we're not using the team that we want to use. Because either next weekend or the weekend after, Team of the Year will be here. And then it'll be like, okay, now we want to use a team that we want to use. Because obviously I'm going to be putting in, if it's community driven, I don't know who I'm going to be putting in. I would assume we'd still see players like Modric, Marcelo. I, I don't even know. Whoever the Team of the Year is will dictate where we go with this team over the next few weeks. So it's actually exciting, um, the fact that we're making some changes in my opinion. And uh, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy to use this team again. I think one of the times when we got 34 wins, we used Matuidi at CDM. Uh, I know he's quite short, but he's got high, high work rates. He's got 95 stamina, which is fantastic. Uh, he's got really good defensive stats with that shadow card on him. So this weekend league, my, my team will look like... Um, basically, it will look in-game as such. Uh, with... Ooh, let me go back. With... Um, Ronaldo up front, of course. I'll be playing Rui Costa as one of the outside centre mids. Matuidi is a CDM. Either the Red De Gea or Gianluigi Buffon in goal. Um, the cam will be... Well, if <clears throat> if I packed a... Um, no, there's no centre mids in this team that I'd, I'd enjoy. Yeah, so Rui Costa is going to be one outside centre mid and, and uh, Herrera is going to be the other outside centre mid. And then the other striker and cam, as I say, it will either be... Red cards and then a, another player that helps get those chemistry in the positions. Or it will be Raheem Sterling and Gabriel Jesus uh, just to keep the cost down and keep my coins up. Because I'm hoping by the time Team of the Year comes, if Team of the Year is, say, next Monday, um, which I think is a little bit too early probably, I want to have about 5 million coins. If Team of the Year is the Monday after, I want to have about 5.5 million coins. So that once it comes... I could just go and buy a bulk, of, like maybe three of them, maybe four of them. Not necessarily the attackers, but the midfielders and the defenders. I'm going to throw them in my team and we're just going to use them for a thousand games or more. So uh, that's what we've done with the account so far, guys. You'll see more tomorrow in the rewards video and maybe some Division 1 gameplay. I might actually just go and buy Jesus, Sterling and uh, Buffon now. 
just so I can practice with that team in Division 1 to see if it's actually going to be a, a viable team to use regardless of my results. Um, but thank you guys for watching today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.